Hi friends, in this video, I'm going to be proving uh, the set of theory, uh, the set formula for the set of theory, of, of theory sets. Look at this, we have in let A, B and C, the finite set whose elements are from the same universal set N. Prove that cardinality of A union B union C equals to cardinality of A plus cardinality of B plus cardinality of C minus cardinality of A intersection C, intersection B minus cardinality of A intersection C minus cardinality of B intersection C plus cardinality of A intersection B intersection C. Now, you guys, before I, I proceed on proving this, if you haven't watched my video on how to prove uh, the set of those two or the formula for two sets kindly pause this video and go and watch it right now because from there we know that from there we know that our cardinality of a union d of two sets cardinality of two sets equals to cardinality of a right plus cardinality of d minus cardinality of a intersection d from that two sets proving of the two sets we know that this is equal to what equals to this then how are we going to prove this we are we are going to use this method to prove this just formula to prove what to prove everything here now if you look at this i can actually say my d put d equals what that's b union c that is wherever i see my d here i'm going to let it be what b union c shake it now i will let it be b union c now my cardinality of a union it will not be d again it will be b union c equals what cardinality of a right plus what cardinality of what instead of d i'll be what b union c minus cardinality of what of a intersection my d is what into bracket b union c can you see this very simple but i can just actually call my this one equation one i can call this equation one right then looking at this equation one very well i'm having whenever i have two union two sets union of two sets it will be what denoted as what as this then i will have cardinality of what of a union b union c equals what cardinality of a plus what cardinality of instead of me to write b union c i'll be writing cardinality of what of b right plus what cardinality of what my two sets that will be c can you see that minus cardinality of b intersection c can you see that then minus cardinality of what of a intersection b union c can you see that b union c very simple then what other thing can i do in this case if you look at this very well i can actually apply my distributive property to this one I can apply distributive property to it, right? Because I'm having intersection here, intersection here, and also my what, my union here. So I can go ahead and, and apply distributive law here. Then using using distributive distributive law, I have my what, my cardinality of a union b union c equals what cardinality of what of a plus cardinality of b plus cardinality of c right minus cardinality of what of b intersection c minus then open the larger parentheses using distributive law you know, my distributive law is just telling me that my, my what my a intersection b union c will be also the same as what, as a as um, that will be a uh intersection b right union can see that a intersection c something like this this is my distributive law property then I'll apply it inside inside this bracket. I'll be having cardinality of what of a intersection b union cardinality of what of a intersection c. Can you see this now? So looking at this, I can just go ahead and say my um let's just close the parentheses here. I have my cardinality of what of a union b union c equals what cardinality of what of a plus what cardinality of what of b plus cardinality of what of C minus cardinality of what of B intersection C. 
Then look at this twice. I'll say let my words, let my F denotes A A intersection B and my G denotes can this now A intersection C. Can see this now, guys? If I represent my F to be A intersection D, that means I'll be having minus cardinal T of that's A intersection B will be F. Then I'll have my union. Can see this now? A intersection C is what is D. I have my union G into inside bracket. Can I see that? That means I'm having cardinal of F union what union G. And you can just recall if you have cardinal of what of two sets F union G, which is F union G, it will actually be what cardinal of what of F plus what cardinal of what of G minus what cardinal of what F intersection G. Can I see that? He asked something like that. Then I'll be replacing everything here with this so that I'll have my words, my carnality of words of A union B union C equals what carnality of words of A plus what carnality of words of B plus carnality of C minus carnality of words B intersection C minus open the bracket now. You have carnality of words of F plus what carnality of words of G minus carnality of words F intersection G. Close the bracket. Hope you are following me, guys. Then the next thing is just for me to was to use my this subtraction sign to open the bracket, right? Open the bracket now. Now we have my words. I cardinal of a union b union c equals what cardinal of words of a plus what cardinal of words of b plus cardinal of words of c minus cardinal of words b intersection c minus cardinal of words of f minus cardinal of words of g. Minus plus that will be plus cardinality of us F intersection G. Can I see this now? So now, with that being said, looking at this, my F is something. My F is what A intersection B, and my G is what A intersection C. Then I will just put it inside. I have what I have my cardinality of A union B union C equals what cardinality of A. Plus what? Cardinality of what? Of B. Plus cardinality of C. Minus cardinality of B. Intersection C. Right? Minus cardinality of what's my F? A. Intersection B. Right? Then look at this. Minus cardinality of what's my G? A. Intersection C. Right? Plus cardinality of my F. What's my F? A. Intersection B. Right? A. Intersection B. Then have an intersection here. Intersection that's a um, A intersection C. Can you see now? If you look at this, that's according to my F intersection G, which is what she's this, which is the can you see this now. So the next thing is for me to just look for a way to express this. And you can actually recall that looking at this, this is actually a distributive property. This is distributive property. Because if I actually have my distributive property, distributive property now. Distributive property is telling that if I have a, can I see that? A intersection, that's a B intersection C. I can write my A intersection B intersection C as well as A intersection B, right? Intersection A intersection C. Can I see that? Since A appears in both words, in both cases, that means it is what? Distributive. Then let me just go ahead and, and replace everything here with this. So replacing it, I'll have what? I'll have my. Cardinality of us of A union B union C equals what? Cardinality of us of A plus cardinality of B plus cardinality of us of C minus cardinality of B intersection C minus cardinality of A intersection B minus cardinality of us of A intersection C. Can you That would be minus. Instead of me to write everything here again, I'll just please that as, as cardinality of because everything here. Is also seen as this. That's cardinality of A intersection B intersection C. Can you see that? Then, if you look at this, everything here is equal to what? Everything that we are given here. Compare it. That means, my, since this is equal to this, I've got, I've proved it. Can you see that? I've proved it. Now, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, can they? Hit the subscription button right now and click on the notification button. More will be released. And if you haven't watched my video on the explanation on 
introduction to set theory that is um i use uh i explain some times on that set theory and also explanation of venn diagram can you watch it now thanks for